When students in Hamlin County return from their winter break on Thursday, they'll no longer have to pay for meals at school. Yeah, you know, the school district is now a part of the Federal Community Eligibility Provision Program, which provides free breakfast and lunch for every student for the remain remainder of the year. Now, WAT 6 on your side reporter Ella Wales found out today how this is making a difference for some families. She joins us now in the studio live with more. Ella. Bo, Don, the program allows the nation's highest poverty schools and districts to serve both meals at no cost to all enrolled students without collecting household applications. For moms like Amy Hale, feeding her kids while they're at school is now one less thing she has to worry about. My children qualified for reduced lunch this year, so they were paying a reduced rate, but with everybody getting free lunch now, we don't have to pay anything. So. That's, you know, a little bit more money I can spend at the grocery store. Paying for school lunches is just another cost she says she and many other families are facing. What I'd really love to see is all kids get free and reduced regardless of our status, just like they did during COVID. Because last year was the first year they had to pay for lunch for, you know, two years, and a lot of kids and families were really caught off guard by that. Hamblin County Schools Superintendent Arnold Bunch says they applied for the program after determining that many families in the area would benefit from it. A comment that I always make is you can't educate students if they're hungry. You've got to make sure you're feeding them because they're not going to learn. Though a win for those in need, the county's eligibility for the program also shows just how many families are struggling. I would love for no one to have, any, have to have any of those services. That would be fantastic for everyone in this community, our county, and for the state. The reality of it is we do have families that are in need. This is the best way that we think we can serve those families. For Hale, she hopes to see free school meals become the norm. I would love to see the state of Tennessee um, pick up that uh, law that they had considered last year where all of the students in Tennessee would receive free lunch. It wouldn't cost that much in the long run and it would be very beneficial to students across the state. These meals will be free for the remainder of the school year. However, the program does not eliminate outstanding lunch debt. Hale encourages anyone who can to donate to their local school to help pay off these debts. All right, Ella, thank you. Superintendent Bunch also says that the county will reevaluate the program in April and if reapproved, will move to a five-year program.